Samsung just released its latest lineup of tablets, the S10 series. And this series packs a new punch when it comes to having a tablet that's gonna help you in your productivity. Today we're gonna to uncover some of my personal applications that I use to help my productivity when it comes to using the Samsung tablet. I'm gonna talk about some of the features that I use in my life. I'm a photographer by trade. I'm also in the creative space. So I'm constantly using this tablet when I'm on the go as well as when I'm in meetings taking notes. So stay with me as we talk about some of the latest and greatest productivity tools that come to the Samsung 10 lineup. Being productive is really about having the right tools in front of you when you need them the most. And when you're looking at a tablet for your productivity, I have to ask you to ask yourself a few questions. Where are you gonna be using this device and what application is to make the most sense for you? For me, I'm a photographer and creator by heart. So I'm constantly on the go, if it be taking pictures or video, masking out projects that I wanna to put together for social media, or being able to connect with people across different spaces to talk about their thoughts and their ideas. And that's what makes having a tablet really convenient for me. Because a lot of times as I'm traveling, connecting, producing, and publishing, I often find that I need something that can be easily accessible, and that can be conveniently located in my bag or even carry with me throughout all the different places I go. And that's where this tablet has been very convenient. Now the, the apps that I use that make this kind of a productivity powerhouse are apps that do just that. And obviously the first one I wanna share with you is email. Being able to have your email with you, being able to use the keyboard with this device and pull out and respond to messages, this makes it very convenient. Often I find time throughout the day if I'm in between spaces, traveling, or I have a few minutes of downtime, being able to jump into my email and respond to some quick questions makes me more productive when I get back to my desk or I actually start my project work because I'm not being inundated by constant messages. I've already been able to respond to many of them. The second tool that's really important in everyday society and becoming more and more important as we start to connect and communicate with others is using some type of web video conferencing. If it be Google Meet or Zoom, being able to use this device to connect to other people. I often use Zoom to chat with people around the world, being able to have that camera, that high definition display, and be able to share with them in real time and have conversations makes this very productive for me. Now this device has some pretty amazing speakers. The camera front facing is in high definition and being able to use the keyboard as a stand, no matter where I go, this device acts as a web video conferencing studio. As you go beyond the basic business communication tools like email and video conferencing, you start to dig into utilizing tools that are gonna really enhance your job. And that's what makes the Google Play Store so powerful. Being able to jump on this device and access hundreds of thousands of different applications is designed by people, many people just like you, there's going to be different productivity tools that are out there that are gonna help enhance your life. And as you look at enhancing your life and learning your skills, I want to talk about today's sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community of master classes that are gonna help you excel in different areas. For me as someone in a creative space, I'm constantly looking at ways to make my product better. If I'm jumping on and looking at things to make my photography, utilize different applications to design better images, or even being able to use different tools to enhance what I've already done. In Adobe Premiere, I am not really strong at color grading, and that's a class I wanna take here on Skillshare so that I can produce a better product for you and get higher engagement for myself. Today, I'm also learning how to use Lightroom because Lightroom is a very powerful app and it can be used on this device. I use Lightroom all the time, and what Lightroom can do for me is I am taking a photo, I have the ability to go right into this tool and edit it. With Skillshare, I can learn about some of the different features and functions that are gonna help enhance my experience. So if you haven't already, check out the link in the description and learn more about Skillshare. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. As I dive into using Lightroom, this is one of the applications that really has changed the way I communicate my trade. I have the ability to go in, take pictures, 
edit them on the fly and be able to save them and publish them so I can reach the ends of the earth and hopefully connect with each and every one of you. And that is the next thing you would consider as you're looking for productivity tools is what applications are going to help you connect with others or help share and grow your experience and connect with a community of other like-minded individuals. And that's where social media really comes into play. There's a lot of different social media tools and being able to use those social media tools on a tablet like this is gonna give you a lot more functionality than you would see every day just on your mobile device. So I encourage you to use social media. It's not just for fun and entertainment, but it's a place where you can really set yourself apart and showcase yourself as an expert in your own industry or niche. And being able to use social media tools on your device kind of gives you a real-time experience and expanded view opportunity so that you can connect with others wherever you are and wherever you go. Now, this tablet isn't all about productivity and these tools and functions don't just create a great work environment. There's also entertainment value with this device. One thing that I really liked about the new S10 is the new screen it has a lot less glare so if i'm taking notes or if i'm looking to consume media it has a lot less reflection on the screen that i'm watching and that's one thing i want to showcase today is note taking with this s pen and this s tablet you have the ability to take notes in real time and this is probably for me one of the most most important functions of this device we are all note takers by heart if we're leaving post-it notes of things we need to do or taking notes about what we just heard it is something that we do every day and for many of us we lose misplaced or can't discover all the notes that we have across all the different binders and tablets and post-its but utilizing this device as a hub for your note taking is really going to help you become different. There's a couple different apps that I encourage you to use. One of them is OneNote and the other is Samsung Notes. Now they are different applications that both can be used on this device. OneNote is a universal application that allows you to synchronize your notes across other platforms like Windows, Apple, and Android devices. And you can write your notes here and see them on your desktop. Samsung Notes is a PDF annotation application that allows you to take your notes here and see them across any of your Samsung devices. If it be your laptop, your mobile phone, or other tablets. Now I did a complete video that dives into both of these applications as well as a couple additional note taking applications. So if you haven't already, check out this video here. It's all about note taking on this device and really utilizing this device as your second brain. And if that is a term you haven't heard of, I encourage you to go on Google, go on YouTube and check it out for yourself. The second brain is gonna be something that really is gonna help you get ahead in the digital world. It's a place where you can capture your thoughts or ideas and collectively organize what you want to achieve. Through that, you're gonna gain clarity on what you want to accomplish and become more productive in what you're doing. And this tool is a big part of that second brain process. So do jump on other forms of media and learn all about that. And that's the last thing I wanna talk about. This device isn't all just about fun and games. You can use this device for playing games and consuming media. I talked before about how the update of the screen really helps with the glare and consuming media has never been more enjoyable. If I'm watching my favorite Netflix show or I'm on YouTube or watching a sports game live on ESPN, these are all things that I can do with this device. And a lot of times this device shouldn't just be about work, but also play some enjoyment. And that's what's gonna make it so that you take this device with you wherever you go. It's not about business and about personal, it's about you and bringing your connective spaces together. And when you can have a device that brings all of that into one platform, that is gonna help you master life. If you learn just one thing in this video, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe if you wanna learn more about Samsung devices, productivity and note taking, and if you want to ask any questions, jump in the comments, myself or somebody in the community, I'm sure will reach out to you and give you their invested interest. I'm Brandon Bonerfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. Hope to see you again real soon.